This project is a tri-service project. The Army and the Navy and the Air Force are working to develop unmanned aircraft system test capabilities for ground test, virtual lab test, and for ranges. So the project that we're demonstrating here today is to show oceanic and do regard transit for the Triton unmanned aircraft system. Well, it's important to integrate the Triton into the airspace because if it doesn't integrate, it can't fly and do its mission. So we have to build a safety case here, proving out the aircraft's safety to in safely integrate with manned aviation. Currently, I would say we are accommodating in the airspace. We're allowed uh, to fly with other manned aircraft, but we're normally given special consideration and separated from those. The goal, obviously, would be to integrate and be just like any other manned aircraft. So this is a step in that direction. Triton will spend much of its mission time over international waters in the international airspace, outside of air traffic control. Uh, when manned aircraft do this, uh, they sometimes call it the concept of flying due regard. I have due regard for my own safety. Uh, this requires basically a pilot to look out the window and say, there's nobody there, everything's fine. Triton doesn't have windows, uh, so pilots can do what they call see and avoid, but in Triton we are calling it sense and avoid. The Triton for this particular test is very unique because we're connected with the FAA Tech Center. We have real life controllers uh, in an oceanic environment. So we're actually putting uh, a simulated UAS into the oceanic environment and lowering it down to a lower altitude through that traffic and we're doing it, uh, we noticed so far, safely. Well, Pax River is a perfect example because uh, they're starting off in their military area. They often want to go out and fly in the, um, in the restricted areas out in the ocean but there's no direct path between that without going through the FAA controlled airspace. So they've got to work into the uh, FAA controlled uh, airspace and then once they reach out into the ocean then they can transition out into the uncontrolled area. So that short uh, space that they're uh, in uh, with the rest of the civilian traffic is the concern area. We will generate a bunch of background traffic based on the real day simulation. So we'll just grab an area and say this is all these flights are what we want. We'll then tweak them slightly to make sure that, in this case, they were around where the Triton was going to be. We would make a few fake aircraft in order to trigger the sense and avoid system that Pax River wanted to test. And then we just run that over and over. What the FAA is providing is typical traffic that you would see in an oceanic environment. You know, uh, United 727 Heavy, so passenger jets, uh, uh, an Airbus 320, uh, occasionally they'll give us a Gulfstream. So it's what you would see if you were actually out there flying on any typical day in the oceanic environment. Tracks and targets are virtual. They're virtual for a reason. They reduce risk. And if we have a potential uh, near mid air collision or mid air collision, Nobody dies, no harm, no foul. We annotate that as a test point, as a note, and then we hopefully will retest it and we won't see that problem again. So we are a, we're basically a risk reduction effort for the, the, the program office. Everybody knows flight tests are incredibly expensive. You can't just take a Triton out for a thousand hours and, and throw a thousand aircraft flying up against it in real life. And so we need to replicate that in the simulation because this is a human in the loop sense and avoid system we're going to have to say, does this work? And so you do as many simulated runs with a pretend aircraft you know, being fed in from the FAA or some outside source to say, did this work in this environment? The real goal of all this is to have it almost transparent to the air traffic controller that it is a UAV, that we would interact with it in much the same way we would with a manned aircraft, be able to put them on vectors, maneuver them around, and do a lot of different things. It's, definitely a, a really exciting thing from my perspective.